Man it's been a great time hanging out with you. Love watching and making fun of those so bad it's good movies with you. The next movie we should watch is Birdemic. That movie is much more brilliant than that movie we just watched. By the way I gotta head home now. My dad told me to come home before 6.30 for dinner. Hey Boris, I have to go home now. This early? You can stay here for dinner. My dad told me to come home for dinner. Oh. Okay. Well see you again. You are always welcome here anytime. Thanks. By the way. Yes? Um. Um. That's a nice curved gaming PC monitor. You game? What? No. I don't game. It's just that the monitor is big and it suits my eyes properly. I don't game anymore. I'm too old for that. Well since you don't game anymore. I thought you could like. Uh, you could like give me that monitor. I still game and my monitor suck eggs. It's so small and low quality. Yours is huge and cinematic. You don't need that curved gaming monitor if you only use it for work stuff. A normal monitor does well already. So can you give me your curved gaming monitor please please? What? What are you talking about? Hey listen, I'm not giving you any of my stuff for free. Why? Because I need to use them for work. Well you can just use a normal computer monitor for your work stuff. You don't need a gaming monitor for that. I need that because I am a hardcore gamer. Now give me that monitor or I'm not leaving. Peter. You better leave my house now or I'm calling the police. Fine whatever. You are so rude. God, kids these days. And you are such a huge douchebag. God, adults these days. Dad, the roast chicken is so delicious. Glad you enjoy it. By the way I have some good news. My boss and his whole team are going to Montreal for a whole month and they told me to take my annual leave. So wanna go for a vacation? Perhaps the Bahamas? That's awesome. The Bahamas sounds nice. It's a beautiful place. White beaches and hot women wearing bikinis. Yummy. Ha 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 lol. Yeah man, hopefully I can find my true love there. It's 4am right now and I'm gonna break into Caillou's house and steal his dad's curved gaming monitor. They're probably all sleeping right now. I can just easily steal his stuff and get out of there. Plus I remember there are no cameras or security alert systems around his property. It's gonna be easy. I just have to not cause any noise, but that's easy cause I'm wearing shoes that won't cause much noise. So yeah it's a straightforward job and I'm gonna go there now. Hum, the lights are still on though. I can see Caillou's room lights are still on. Could he be still awake? But meh, Caillou don't matter. He's probably sleeping with the lights on cause he's a weird bald degenerate popsicle. Plus I don't think he really cares if he catches me. He hates Boris to death anyway. The only people I worry about is Boris himself and Doris and Rosie. These three imbeciles may go bananas if they catch me. But meh, it doesn't matter. I'll just do it as quick as possible and quietly then I get the hell out of there. Simple as that. What kind of door is this? It's so hard to pick lock the door with my paper clip. I'm gonna try the back door. What the hell is this? This doesn't even have a doorknob. Man they can't fix their back door even though they're filthy rich. Pathetic. The kitchen windows are open though. Thank god I'm skinny. That window is small. Anyway time to head up to Boris's office. Ugh. Their kitchen smells very bad. Smells like they've just microwaved a TV dinner that's been expired since 1963 and it explodes everywhere. Disgusting. Holy crap you scared me. Bro don't do that again. You scared me. Bro what the hell are you doing here? How did you get here? What the hell are you doing here? Why aren't you sleeping? I'm here to make me a cereal. I can't sleep. Okay then. But you better keep quiet. Do not snitch on me. I'm going to grab your dad's curved gaming monitor. What was that? I'm gonna go get your dad's curved gaming monitor. Wait what? So you're here to steal ha? I am. Just don't tell to your father. You goddamn lunatic. You broke into our house and you want to steal my dad's new computer monitor? Hey come on are you nuts? You're gonna wake them up for Christ's sake. Dad. P. 
Peter's here to steal your computer monitor. What's wrong with you? We're friends. Like I care. You're here at 4 a.m. breaking into our house and attempting to commit a burglar on us. I can sue you for that. I'm gonna have you trespassed. Dad, 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 dad. Peter broke into our house and he's here to steal your computer monitor. Come down here now. What the hell is going on? That four eyed bozo is here to steal your crap. Oh, uh, uh, it's. It's not stealing, it's fair borrowing. You stinky four-eyed broccoli with an eggplant of one inch only. You are such a dead meat. How dare you broke into my house. Where did you get in here from? From that window, sir. Ooh. You burglar. You tried to rob my house? You know how much of a dead meat you are for doing that? Look, I'm sorry, sir. I promise I won't do that ever again. I swear. You think apologizing to me works? You're trespassing into my property and I can legally beat you into a dumpling wrapper. If you want that curved gaming monitor so much, go work for it. Go find a job and save up money for that instead of begging someone to give you for free. I work hard for that. I earned it. I deserve that computer monitor as my reward. You, you probably do nothing all day. You deserve nothing. Sucker. Don't give me that sad look. I mean you're a tough guy right? Robbing my place. You shouldn't be crying. You know what? I'm gonna call your dad. Lucky I have his phone number. He works as a security officer at my company. Good luck on that. Hello Henry. Sorry to wake you up this late. Nah it's okay. I'm not sleeping yet. So what's up? Your son tried to rob me. He broke into my house and wanted to steal my computer monitor. What? Yeah. He wanted my PC monitor so bad that he has to break into my place this late at night waking me up I got work like two hours later and I only slept for three minutes. Your son needs to have some disciplinary lesson for breaking into my house and attempting to steal my stuff while also ruining my sleep. Oh 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 That for eyed broccoli bozo. He is so dead. I'm gonna drive to your place and pick him up. I'm so sorry that he did this to you. You and your family don't deserve this. It's okay. It's not your fault. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Look, it's not what you think. You say it's not what you think one more time I'm gonna break your eyeglasses and shave your hair. How dare you attempt it to rob Boris's house. What are you Ocean's Eleven now? You think you're George Clooney? You're not even George Clooney's feces. You're barely anyone's feces not even dog poop. You're just a little ant you know? You're weak. You're a loser. You're a bozo. You have no girlfriends. You have no meaning in life. All you do is just moaning every night playing with your own eggplant while watching hot amazing videos and robbing people's places for a PC monitor because you have no jobs and you cannot afford it so you resort to stealing and robbing. You're a failure in life and will always be until you're 100 and die of being a total moronic buffoon failure that no one loves because you suck eggs. And you're grounded. You're grounded for 8 months. I'm taking away all your stuff and you're not allowed to sleep in your room. You sleep in the basement with the filthy cockroaches, rats and scary big huntsman spider roaming around your face every night when you sleep and shooting web all over your face and biting your stupid long nose. Good luck. Wah.